I walked out at one point because they were having people sleep there and eat there and work all through the night. And it was all for free because you're an intern. I have never told you about that. One of my businesses is is, is e-com for luxury fashion. Mm. So we we sell Balenciaga, YSL, mm, McQueen, mm-hmm, etc. Mm-hmm. And what looks, I mean, you know, it might be feel different for you, but to me, what looks like the coolest, most glamorous industry is fucking horrendous. Oh, and every one of those brands is the biggest set of CUNTs who just want to abuse the life Intense. out of. Every, everybody in the food chain below them. Everybody. And that's what I realised. And I, that's when my rebellious side started to come out. I'm a bit of a um, serial quitter. <laughs> that, that's not always a good thing, but actually, we'll, edit, we'll edit that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to jobs and things, if I don't like something or I feel like it's not for me, you know, I, I stand my ground and I just, yeah, it, it started with the luxury world. I walked out at one point because... They were having people sleep there and eat there and work all through the night. And it was all for free because you're an intern. And because you want it on your CV, when you're in the fashion world, it's your, it's very focused on building your CV. And it's the names that are on your CV. If you've got certain names, you're going to do well. And that was everybody's goal. And it was such a race to get to the best, you know, who, who's working for Chanel, who's working for Dior, who's, work, who's got that on their CV. And it was... It was uh, not the best experience for me. And it works for some people, but for me, it just didn't. Um, so after that, I one of, one of my friends at the time told me about Camp America. Oh, yeah. And I always wanted to travel. So then I, there wasn't much to do for Camp America in fashion. Then I found this fashion design thing to teach kids. So I thought, oh, lovely. In America? In America. And I loved kids. So I was like, how do I combine the two? Anyway, so I ended up going. I was about 22 at the time, by myself as well. My poor mum. All the way to America. I did that for like two months, teaching kids fashion design. And it was from then. I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to do kids wear. And then I came back and then I told them, you know, I want to do kids wear. And they were like, "Mm," they weren't on board of it at all. We don't have the resources. We don't have the tutors. It's going to be really hard for you. 